so thankful you're joining us. Matthew 5 verse 8 is our one verse this whole week. We are looking at what it means to have a pure heart. Jesus said in this amazing verse, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. I'm excited for today because we're going to emphasize the last half of that verse, what it means to truly see God. As a way of reminder, for those maybe catching up for where we are this week, here's our outline for this week. You got to know this. Jesus wants your heart. He's coming after us right now. He is. He's knocking on our door. He's knocking on our hearts. He's coming after us because he loves us. He doesn't let us stray. He pulls us back. For some of you right now, that's happening to you. You're like, I can't believe you just said that because I feel that God's doing that. I know. Isn't he so great? Again, hear this then. Hear this. We've learned this week. Uh, a pure heart means an undivided heart, a heart that's not polluted with the world, a a heart that is filled with the Holy Spirit and seeking Jesus Christ. And then finally, we see this today. Believe this, believe this. God will grant my heart to see. Again, I love that so much. They shall see God. What does it mean that they shall see God? It means this. It means the person who sees the path of life. It means the purpose that knows the reason that they live. I want to pause right there for a second. Do you know why you live? Do you know the path of life? Do you have purpose? Do you have a sense of true meaning? So many in our world are lost. Some of you right now, if you're honest with yourself, you're not there and you've been crying literally over this predicament and trying to figure out the answer. I'm telling you now, Jesus is the answer. Jesus Christ is the answer. He gives us a heart that's pure through his life, death, and resurrection. And then we are able to truly see the Lord. Jesus is the difference maker. That's why he says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they are fulfilled. They are the ones who know joy. You know what's amazing to me? Jesus spoke these words at times in the very face of the Pharisees, the religious leaders of his day. They were literally staring in the face of the Son of God, yet their hearts remain unchanged. They could not see God. They had no faith. But Jesus speaks to you and I today. And he says, you don't have to be like them. You don't have to be a religious uh, uh, person who's just trying to follow rules. You can be a person with faith. And when you see the Lord, what happens? When you have a heart that's pure, when God transforms your heart, you start to see salvation. You see Jesus is the answer to life. You look across this world in creation and spring is upon us. Praise the Lord. We're so happy for that. You see the sun shining, the birds singing, the flowers blooming, and you say, that is the Lord of glory. You see the brokenness and sin of this world and your heart is filled with compassion and you have empathy and sympathy for those that are hurting because you are seeing God. Again, you see, again, you know that Jesus Christ will return one day so soon and those with pure hearts and they see God, they will look up and the trumpet will sound and Christ will come and you will see the Lord in all his glory as he returns for you. This all stems from those with a pure heart and that's why we are so blessed. So taking nothing for granted right now, these last few moments, God's word, God's truth, Jesus has life speaking to you right now and he's inviting you to see with eyes you've never had before. Won't you call us? We have men and women standing by to love you in Jesus' name. This is your time. This is your moment. Do not delay. The Holy Spirit's prompting you right now. He wants to allow you to see that you might know his love. One more time. 1-866-273-4444. May the Lord Jesus Christ give us vision of newness. Oh yes, may it be so. You are so loved here at 100 Huntley Street.